Thanks for joining us at Right On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the 2018 Mustang GT. It's a 125 scale Revell model kit, number 85-1996. This is a skill level 1 snap tight build and play kit, and it's suitable for builders aged 6 and up. It's a beginner's kit and it's meant to demonstrate the concept of building a model while building confidence in the child to give them a sense of accomplishment with the hobby using a flashy new Mustang as the drawing card. The kit consists of about 13 pieces molded in a soft metallic yellow with black and clear parts and soft vinyl tires and some pre-decorated pieces. There are no decals or stickers for this kit Assembly is quite simple and easy with provided tabs and snap fit parts. This is true curbside kit as there is no drivetrain and no opening hood. It has a flat bottom on the underside with no molded features as well. On the other hand, the body is flawless except for a few parting lines on the quarter panels and with some simple detailing this body could be the base for a very nice shelf display of the brand new model Mustang. That notwithstanding, it's, it's a toy and it was meant to be played with. And if you put a few drops of glue to keep her together, it should last the child a long, long time and provide hours of fun and enjoyment. The finished size when you're done is about seven and a half inches long, three inches wide, and two and a quarter inches high. Removing the contents from the box, you'll find that it's well protected in a poly bags and protective devices uh, to ensure it does not get scratched or jarred during shipping. When you first pull the model out of the packaging, you, it almost appears to be fully assembled, uh, but the parts uh, that go on the exterior, etc., are packaged inside the interior of the vehicle. As you can see here, the script shows that this is a fairly new tool. And it's even marked uh, for the front end so that a child would know which part goes towards the uh, front of the vehicle on assembly. Here are the major pieces for the kit, including the chassis and four tires and two axles. There's also a steering wheel not shown here, but it's very basic construction, goes together easily, and that's just what you're looking for when you want a child to build their first model. This is a snap tight kit, so no glue is necessary. Everything just snaps in and fits together well. The first step has you putting on the grill and the lower valence, and they snap right in pretty well. As I found out after completion, this was the only place where there was a little bit of difficulty getting one of the uh, snap bosses to fit into its receptacle. The item on the right there was a little bit tight, had a little flash in it. So I just used a hobby knife, reamed that out a little bit. And so if you're helping a child put the model together, you may want to handle those kinds of steps uh, and then give it back to them to complete the um, uh, job. Moving on to step two, we're going to uh, install the uh, rear uh, fascia and spoiler. And the spoiler goes into some uh, slots that are uh, pre-done on the back of the vehicle there. You just push them into the slots and uh, it mounts pretty securely. And then we're going to add the, uh, the fascia to the back end uh, in just a moment. The tail light panel is also installed in this step and the white circle here shows where there's a GT script that I went ahead and used a chrome pen to highlight and just as uh, a feature that you can uh, uh, used to realize that the detailing on this kit is possible and you can make it actually look much better as a standalone uh, display kit uh, if you so choose but um, we're going to just push the uh, tail light panel into place and then uh, she'll be finished up at the back end for step two. In step three we locate the uh, steering wheel onto the dashboard and uh, it has a very positive boss that it fits onto there so uh, no problems just press that into place and then uh, slip the dashboard into the slots and uh, there's also a little tab that goes on the console of the vehicle and put that into place and she'll snap in very securely. In step four we're going to um, put the interior tub 
into the body. You can see the body is turned upside down here and uh, the tab fits into the back there and then there's a uh, boss and a hole that fits in uh, the interior tub uh, up front. So just go ahead and snap that into place at this time. The wheels and axles were already put together and they were actually kind of dropped into the uh, V-slots there uh, for the axles. Uh, but they're not always pushed all the way down and snapped into place. So go ahead and do that. Make sure that the axles are snapped all the way down into the seated position. For step six and the final assembly, we're going to simply uh, put the chassis into place. You can see that the body's upside down, and then we're just going to turn the chassis over, make sure that the front uh, faces towards the headlights end, of course, and then uh, match up those bosses together. And then you can take what uh, you see here are uh, actually press fit pins they look like screws but you just take and uh, push those pins in after you get the chassis in place and it will just uh, snap fit into position and keep the underbody uh, connected to the uh, body of the vehicle well there you have it this beautiful Mustang model is now also a durable toy that a child can build to instill confidence in them for learning how to build a model from a kit form and thus introducing them into our wonderful hobby of model building. So if I were you, I'd buy one of these for my child and put it on his shelf. Hope you like this premium step-by-step -step model kit review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and at our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.